Scorpion says, this might sound a little off topic, but why did you choose to study Japanese Jiu-Jitsu over Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? This is an excellent, excellent question. And the reason is, um, I chose Japanese Jiu-Jitsu to fill a very specific area of training that I felt I was missing. Again, my background is Kempo. I've spent 30 years in Kempo. There's a lot of strikes. We have takedowns. There's a little bit of, you know, Ed Parker uh, did a lot of Judo, so there are Judo elements into American Kempo. But I felt like I wanted to learn more stand-up grappling, more wrist lock submissions, arm manipulation, and, and, and more takedowns so that I can mesh into my Kempo. I wanted to step outside of Kempo, learn something new that I could bring back to it. And it's actually an interesting story. Originally, I was looking for Judo. And the reason it wasn't BJJ, and I'll, I'll come back to why it wasn't BJJ. Um, I was looking for Judo, and I was Googling Judo schools in my area, and believe it or not, there really weren't many. I found one. And it looked okay. It wasn't that close to me. I'm like, okay, I kept looking. But as I was looking for judo, another school came up, a, 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 a Boku Jiu-Jitsu with uh, Sheehan William Wood. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'll check that school out. He was super friendly. And he said, come on in, come check out a class. You know, let's just talk, whatever. Honestly, I was a student from the second I walked in that door. I walked in and he was so friendly and so open. And I was a little bit nervous because this was actually the same time it was actually the same month that we actually started Art of One Dojo. Whenever I go into a new school or meet with a new instructor, I'm a little bit apprehensive about how receptive they're going to be about, you know, what I want to learn. Or are they going to answer questions? Or are they going to be okay with me doing topics, you know, video topics on, on, on whatever subject? And I walked in and instantly I knew by his greeting that I was in good company. He asked me a bunch of questions. He got to know me. He told me about what he taught. He told me about his background, his passion for teaching. He wanted to know what I wanted to learn. We actually, I felt like we bonded in that first hour. And he goes, jump on the mat with us. Give it a try. And I wasn't expecting that, but I'm like, yeah, okay, why not? And by the end of the night, he had me doing flips in the air. Me, you know, I, I'm not the I'm not the lightest guy. Um, he had me with the confidence to do a jump flip in the air and land into a break fall. First class. And I knew it was something very, very different. But I realized that this was what I wanted to learn because we did a bunch of the stand-up grappling. And he's very, very good on teaching technique. And I mean, I'm not used to being picked up. I am not an easy person to pick up. I am solid. And he did it with ease. And that was a very, very foreign feeling for me. And the more I trained with it, the more I realized it meshes beautifully with Kempo. I am finding... Um, a, a, a symbiosis between the two arts, honestly. So there's times in, in jiu-jitsu class where we're going to go do a throw, and I'm like, oh, I can do this strike here. I can do this kempo move here. I can go into this. Vice versa, I'm in kempo. I'm like, oh, I can do this take down here, this, this wrist lock here. Um, for those who know American kempo, like, you go back later and you learn extensions to techniques. I went through them all. I learned them all years ago. I kind of dropped most of them, and now my extensions are jiu-jitsu techniques. If I'm going to do a couple strikes per person and go for a takedown, I'm doing the shoulder throw or the wrist lock. I'm going to do the jiu-jitsu techniques. I find them so beautifully well uh, malleable and, and, and compatible with so many different arts and striking that it just I fell in love with it right away. And I give a lot of credit. I want to give a shout out to my teacher, Sheehan William Wood. Fantastic school. I love training with him. He's family. He made me feel welcome right away. So that's honestly the reason I chose that school. Hey guys, don't forget to pick up your own Colors of Combat t-shirt. We've got a brand new collection, 22 designs over multiple different martial arts. So that way you guys can wear your art with pride. It's a way for us to support the channel without resorting to sponsorships while you guys have some really cool souvenirs. So get your own now. Check out the link in the description, artofwindojo.com slash store. Why I didn't go with BJJ, why I didn't look around for that was because my previous camp instructor brought in, you know, we were, we were a Jeff Speakman school for a while and we did 5.0 for a little while. So we had some elements of that in there. And then when, when my instructor broke off, became his own school, he he brought in a lot of BJJ himself. We had a grappling class separate from, from a Kempo class. And I'm not, I'm not saying I, 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 I hold no rank in BJJ whatsoever. I know concepts. I can, I can grapple a little bit. I'm not good at it. I'm rusty at it. But I had a lot of exposure to it for a few years. And at the time, I was much better at the time. So I felt like, okay, I have a good, you know, I'm versed enough where I could probably hold my own a little bit. You know, an experienced BJJ guy will tie me up into a knot. I'm not going to debate that. But I had a good taste of it and I liked how it merged. But I kind of felt like here was the ground stuff. Here's the stand-up stuff. I felt like there was a middle area here. I wanted to learn the stand-up grappling because that's an easy transition between stand-up to BJJ. If you, if you know judo and jiu-jitsu, it meshes beautifully with the ground stuff. If you, it also meshes beautifully with the stand-up stuff. So it was. This is an example of. And people ask me all the time. You know, I'm looking for a new art. What should I? What should I do? You know, I'm looking at this art, this art, this art. 
In choosing the art, you have to step back and look at what you want to learn. In my case, I, I love Kempo. Kempo is my home base. But I step back, I'm like, what do I feel like I'm missing? What's, what's something I really want to learn and I'm not getting from this? And it was the stand of grappling. So I had to identify my passion, my, my, my goal. And then I had to look at arts that I felt achieved that goal. Judo was that answer until I looked a little bit closer and I fell in love with the Japanese Jiu Jitsu. It's a little bit more than that. Judo tends to be more sport too. And then a lot of schools teach it the sport and sport rules. I like the Jiu Jitsu stuff because it's a little bit more street wise or street application. And that's the other thing too I love about the classes. You know, we'll learn a technique a certain way, a certain throw. He'll show us how to do it safely with our partners. Then he'll tell us how you would do it in the street if you were doing it for self-defense, how you would actually make it a little bit dirtier. And then also, oh, here's how it's done in judo. And he shows us the difference. So that's my advice to anyone who's looking for another art. If you want to venture outside of your art, then by all means, go, go look at, you know, ask yourself the question, what do you feel like you're missing? Or what is it something that you're trying to add on to? And then go and find that. And once you've identified that, go visit the school. Talk to the instructor. That's the number one thing. Go and talk to the instructor. And I think you're going to get a pretty good example right away if it's the right school for you.